It is a cold and dreary day here in Northwest Ohio, but I'm so excited to be in front of the camera today because I am introducing Frontier Trading Company, a project that I have had in mind for a long, long time. I grew up in an environment that made me intensely passionate about 18th century history. As a little boy, I remember sitting on the couch with my eyes glued to the TV screen watching Fess Parker's Davy Crockett and a little later Daniel Boone. And in the summertime, I'd go outside with a Kentucky rifle cap gun and drill across the front lawn like a British soldier. I remember making box forts in the driveway and pretending that I was Davy Crockett at the Alamo. Um, and all those moments, I remember thinking, you know, this is an era that I'm going to be passionate about for a long time. Now, I didn't have any real ways of exercising that passion, of doing anything meaningful with that passion until I became a Boy Scout. And as a Tiger Cub, I had no idea what reenacting was or why anyone would dress up in a funny outfit and you know, try to resurrect a painful old time in history. But I've learned a lot since then. As a Scout, I would go to a place every summer for summer camp. And there's a program area there called Frontier Trading Company. And I remember guys in, you know, buckskins and fringed outfits throwing tomahawks and forging iron. And they had chickens running wild all over the place. And there's wigwams and teepees and all this really, really cool historical stuff. And so at that camp, I decided this is my place. This is where I fit in. So every summer I'd spend a little time there and um, really came to enjoy it. Now, as I got a little older, we come into my high school years, I started to have a hard time, you know, taking this period in history, it seems kind of backwards and old fashioned, and comparing it to the iPod Touch in my right hand. How do I, you know, use this know how that I've gained in scouting that I have in the back of my head um, in a modern society where none of it's really relevant? And so I, I've since, of course, learned that it is very relevant. I've, like I said, I've learned a lot from this. But in the summer times throughout high school, I would split my time between two days for football and working at the Frontier Trading Company. And the first summer that I did that, I loved it so much that I turned around with my paychecks and I went back to a reenacting store in my hometown and I, I bought my first outfit, my, my frock that I'm wearing today, uh, a pair of moccasins, a tomahawk, some of the basics that I knew I was going to use in the summers to come. And so in the following years, now for five summers, I've spent about two months of my time at this camp. And you put all that together and it's about 10 months to a year of time in this outfit, practicing you know, the historical techniques, the ways of life that these um, hardy frontiersmen did back in the day. And I'm lucky that throughout all that, I had a community to kind of foster this interest. I grew up in Perrysburg, Ohio. Um, in case you're unaware, it's the site of one of the largest wooden-walled forts, Fort Meggs, in North America. And that, that fort, they have a lot of living history, um, yeah, great, great reenactments there. Um, and you know, hundreds of people will show up, and throughout the summer you hear these cannons booming, and it, the booms just rolled across the town like thunder. And it's the most exciting thing to grow up in an atmosphere where it's so normal to be so passionate about something that some people would call really silly and kind of weird. But I loved so much going down to the fort with my buddies, and we'd walk around, see the guys dressed up, listen to the gunfire, watch the cannons, see all the smoke. Um, and fantasize about what it would be like to live in that time period. So as a scout, as an individual growing up, um, I just had this natural inclination, um, but all things come to an end. And as you move into new frontiers in life, you know, similar to the frontiersmen leaving the city behind, going out into the wild, um, you encounter these times in your life where it becomes time to move on. I got my Eagle Scout, I graduated high school, and now that I'm off to college, I'm looking to make these videos, of course, for viewers so that I can share this know-how that I have from, like I said, 10 months to a year of dressing up and living the life, but also so that I can share the knowledge that I have with the future staff members in Frontier Trading Company who will come out and um, do the same things that I've done for the past five years. So I'm very passionate about this project, not because it's a way for me to make money, or because it's a way for me to, to show off these skills that I've learned, but because I can help people. I can help you enhance your reenacting experience, maybe provide a little entertainment along the way, but I can especially help the young men who will step into my shoes um, at this Boy Scout camp in Frontier Trading Company. So I hope that that gives you some context for this channel. And before I uh, sign off, I'd like to say in the future, I really plan to develop this channel. This is not a short-term thing for me. I've had this in mind for years now as my way to give back and I'm so passionate about doing that. 
I really hope you'll stick around. It's worth hitting that subscribe button. I promise that I'm bringing information you have not seen anywhere else, and I'm sure that we'll have a great time together. That being said, I have all this experience and I am so willing to learn more. I'm still a young man with a lot of life to live, um, but I would appreciate any help, uh, anybody who would love to reach out, you know, hit the comments section on my videos, feel free to shoot me an email, whatever it takes to, uh, to share any knowledge that you might have, great video topics, discussion topics, whatever it is, I'd love to hear it. So I'm so open to learning and I'm so passionate about explaining and teaching what I already know that I hope it's worth hitting that subscribe button for you.